Hello everyone and welcome to Total Training for Adobe Illustrator CS5 Essentials. I'm Steve Holmes, founder and creative director of Energy Design in San Francisco, and I'm looking forward to spending the next few hours with you, taking you on a voyage of discovery and knowledge through Illustrator CS5 and showing you the technical and creative techniques that will empower your design and production skills moving forward. Now, Adobe Illustrator is, for me, the most powerful and flexible program that Adobe makes. Now, that's only my humble opinion, but since I'm proud to say I've been using Illustrator for 22 years since its release in 1988, I certainly speak with confident experience. It's gone from strength to strength with every version, and CS5 is even faster, more flexible, more creative, and as this training will show you, a pleasure to use. Let's start out by taking a look at the interface and important preferences, working with documents and workspaces, and some must-have keyboard shortcuts that will start you off on the right foot. Now when you open up Illustrator for the first time, you will see this panel here in the center of your screen, and this is the welcome screen. Now this is fairly straightforward. It allows us to open a, a recent item, one that we've already worked with previously, and you can see I've got a series of documents here that are actually all of our training files. But also importantly, there is an open dialogue here. On the right-hand side, we have the ability to create new documents, various different types, such as for video and film or RGB, CMYK, and also select files from different templates. And down here on the lower left-hand side, you've also got options for teaching you how to, to get started, like new features and online resources. So this is kind of a good place to start if you're brand spanking new to Illustrator. But for the most part, what we're going to rely on are the open dialogues and potentially pulling back recent items. So let's go ahead and start out by opening up a document, okay? So we're just going to click the open dialog here. And on the desktop of my machine, you can see I've copied the project files for Illustrator CS5 Essentials here onto the desktop. And if I select that, you can see four separate folders in there. So these are the documents that we will be working with. And I'm going to come in here and select the examples folder. And then we'll go ahead and choose a business cards. OK, you see we get a preview over here on the right hand side. Just going to go down and click open. And we can see that now appears on the screen. And also our welcome screen disappears in the background. Now we've only got one document open and I do wish to open up another three in fact so let's use a keyboard shortcut at this stage we're going to press command o or control o on the pc as you would with most programs and that will pull up that same open dialog box and inside the same examples folder let's go ahead and select postcard v1.ai at the same time, I'm going to hold down the command key or the control key on the PC so we can select multiple documents and we'll go ahead and select postcard V2 and also single card down here at the bottom. Now, once those three are selected, just go ahead and click open and we can see them all open here on the screen. Now, what we're looking at essentially here is one large document window, which has all the other items tabbed inside it. Now, by tabbed, I mean these single tabs here across the top. You can see that every single document is selectable by clicking on its tab. You see we can switch back and forth between each of these, and we can only indeed see one at a time, okay? Now, as well as selecting them here, you can also go up to the window menu and drop all the way down here towards the bottom. If you have a larger screen than this, you can, of course, find them much quicker. But you'll see that those four documents are all visible down here at the bottom of the list and selecting any one of those will naturally switch you to it. Now, there's also a keyboard shortcut option for this, which is very handy. I'm going to hold down the command key or the control key on the PC, and we're going to use the tilde key. Now, this is the key that's underneath the escape key in the top left-hand side of your keyboard, okay? So just go ahead and press that, that keyboard shortcut, command tilde on the Mac or control F6 on the PC, and that will cycle you through your open documents. Now, this is kind of handy if you've got, you know, sort of three or four. It's much handier if you've really just got two documents and you quickly need to switch back and forth between them because the more you have, it basically cycles through them in order. It doesn't allow us essentially to choose the one we wish to jump to. So really, you know, that's the sort of thing we can use as and when if we've really just got two documents open and we know we just need to sort of quickly bounce back and forth. Now, another way to view each of these documents is to basically float them out into their own windows, okay? Now, let's take a look at how that works. If we go up to the window menu here at the top and go down to our Arrange Options, you can see that we have a Float All in Windows option. If we go ahead and select that, you can see exactly what's happened. Every single one of those tabs has now been given its own window, which again, we could click between and select, but I'm actually going to show you a nicer way to arrange these. In the control panel, which is this area here at the top of the Illustrator interface, 
we have the icon called the Arrange Documents icon. Now on the PC it's in a slightly different location, but the icon itself is very recognizable, okay? If you go ahead and click on that, you can see different ways that we can view our elements. Now, currently we are looking at all of our items in a float format, as you can see, and this means we can then choose how we tile them on screen. So let's say we come here and say tile all vertically, okay? Just go back and reselect that, okay? you'll see that it's now placed each one across the width of the screen and individually divided them. So the more documents you have, the smaller each of these would be, okay? Let's go back and let's choose tile and vertically and we can see a little bit more detail here. Now you can also customize by going down to the other options. Let's say we wish to view, say, one large file on the left hand and two on the right. Well, in this instance, because we have four documents open, you'll see that the last two are re-tabbed back into a single window, okay? So you still get all four, but we're doing a three up layout so this is a really handy way to view each of the documents and the nice thing about this is if you really don't want them tiled and you want to get them back again all you have to do is come here and select the first option which you can see is consolidate all you go ahead and select that and it puts them all back into that original tab format that we started out with